Hello and welcome to part 5 of my Nova 80 series. It really means a lot to me that you guys are enjoying this series and I'm having a lot of fun making the episodes for you. For the last couple of days I've been unable to commentate so I recorded a few clips to sort of keep the progress going on and that's what you're seeing right now. Um, pretty basic stuff, just been harvesting my farms, selling the wheat and all the flour and stuff at the markets, making about a thousand per trip, just trying to make some money to speed the series up and keep it interesting. I also wanted to learn a profession. I've been reading about the mod and some different ways of making money, so I decided to become an apprentice baker. Since we are basically getting loads of wheat and stuff like that, I thought it made sense. So I'm completely new to these professions and I probably picked the one that doesn't make me a lot of money, but it's a part of learning the mod and it made sense and it fit the story quite well. So I'll be honest, I actually have no idea what I'm doing with this uh, apprentice thing. Um, I assume it eventually leads to something cool. Uh, I've been checking with the guildmaster, and it's like um, I think eventually it will lead so that uh, it will lead on so you can eventually buy an enterprise. I think that that's what it really is. I could be wrong. I'm gonna find out in the future, just not right now. But um, for now, we're gonna carry on with the episode, and I hope you enjoy it. Okay, so I'm a bit low on food. I'm gonna stop by and buy some now. Yeah, we've only got a bit of fish and some dirty water left. Lovely dirty water. My favourite. Uh, let's buy some... Let's buy some clean water. It's, not, it's actually not that expensive. And let's buy one bread because it, I think our next field is about to harvest and we can always just keep some of that food so we don't have to spend some more. Anyway, um, I'm going to check the tavern as well. Let's see if we've got anyone here. Uh, the cannoneer is always here. <laughs> He's a regular of the local tavern. We've got a mercenary. Um... I give, see, I'm not going to pronounce that right, but I'm pretty sure it's like a musketman. Anyway, um... Ooh, Frentes! Oh, this is a companion. Oh my god. I am lost. Lost. Why so gloomy, friend? I have committed the greatest of sins, sir. It is my shame that I must appoint you my confessor, if you should like to hear it. Not really. I've heard it many times in native. I'm pretty sure it's the same. He looks pretty well geared out so he's probably quite expensive i'm gonna i'm gonna cut the chit chat ah oh, that's actually not that bad and i can afford that so i'm definitely gonna afford that nice sweet well we got forentes um i'm not actually sure what kind of skills he has let's, let's go let's go check forentes doesn't say anything on the party skill tab but we can always go and inspect him a bit closer let's see what he's got so he's got two on inventory management uh not really helpful he'll look good athletics good riding He's a pretty good warrior, so pretty much he's just a good warrior to have, you know, and he can't die because he's a companion, so yeah, not bad. And he's got some pretty nice gear now that I see, but uh, not as good as mine. His helmet's actually better than mine. But, you know what, that is his helmet, I'm going to let him keep it because that's just rude. It's like, hi, join my party, like, but first give me a helmet. That's the one rule. I'm going to chuck all my... Oh, so I gave them um, some um, armor, which I got from a uh, bunch of deserters. They were Roadlock Crossbowmen uh, deserters, I think. I've got some of the crossbowmen, actually, somewhere. Yeah, these guys, as you see, it's the same armor. So, yeah, I got some of that armor and gave it to her. It's not very good, but it was better than whatever she had before. I've upgraded a few troops, as you can see. Haven't been redoing really that much, but... Um, keep, I've been keeping myself busy, if you could put it that way. Anyway, so let's go check, let's go check my, um, my fields pretty sure none are actually ready to, uh, to start. Yeah, no, they're not. But I think I have two growing right now. Ye yes. So that one and that one growing. Sweet. So, well, we may as well just go and wander off for a bit, do something interesting. Um, got 30 troops. I don't think I'm going to get any more for now. I think that's a pretty good army. And we've got some pretty good troops as well. We've got a Rodok Sergeant, who's the end of his tree. So he's pretty, he's pretty, pretty up there, if you could say. Pretty, pretty good. Pretty good. So, yeah, let's, let's, go, let's, go, let's go for a little wonder and uh, see what we can find. Actually, I might finally explore that uh, ruins over there because um, I did say I was going to do it like on episode 2, but I just sort of avoided it because I, it is kind of pointless because I don't actually really need to do it at the moment, but I might do it anyway because why not? Um, but if in, is it, yeah, I don't know. I would like a, Oh, of course, as soon as we leave, our field has finished harvesting. Well, we've made it this far. I'm going to keep going. I can always go back and do it later on. How much money have I got? I've got about 2,000, so not too bad, not too bad. Um, oh, we've got some looters. That's going to be quite pointless. I'm looking for maybe 
20 plus, you know, sort of give us a challenge and actually give us some good, decent loot. That would be nice. I'm pretty sure I've got all my inventory space free. So yeah, we are, we are, we are ready to take a bunch of loot. So yes, I'm gonna travel a bit faster. Probably gonna run run into some cathars soon. But who knows? But uh, oh, some deers there. Some deers all over the place. All right. Well, this is the ruins of uh, yeah, please sharp. Ruins of Uxhau. <laughs> I don't know. I have no idea that's how you say it, but anyway. So, um, I I mentioned that I do know what's here. Um, you can actually explore that. I'm pretty sure there are chests with stuff in it. But the main reason why people come here is because of a sword which you can retrieve, which I believe belonged to the previous king. I'm not exactly sure on the on, on the lore or the story you could say. But the sword is over here, and I'm pretty sure it's in the same spot. It you know what? It, it could have been moved, and I could be talking a bunch of gibberish. But I've uh, I've been here a few times, and it's been in the same spot. So anyway, so yeah, I'm gonna skip it for a bit. Okay, so you head over towards the statue. There we go. We got a king up there. Very nice with some flags. And if you go over here, you see a sword in the ground. And it's actually a chest. Well, technically it's not a chest, but. It's the only way to retrieve the sword. And you get a bunch of other stuff as well, silver ore. That's cool. So, the reason why I didn't want to get this is because it's actually exactly the same as my sword I've already got, if you check. <laughs> it's the... Well, there we go. So we got the same reach, we got the same speed. Um, it does, this does look a bit cooler, so I might actually just use this for now, just for looks. And, I'm, and, and now I can give this to a companion, so there we go. I'm going to take all this pottery and stuff because that'll make us some money. And yeah, so I think I might explore. Um, I sort of know, I think I roughly remember where half the, half the things are. It, it might have been updated, but uh, we're going to have a little look. Um, I'm not sure there's something over here. I can't remember if this is a chest or not, or if it's just a bit of nothing. I think, yeah, it's just a bit of nothing. But anyway, we're going to do a bit of exploring and see what we can find. Oh, is that a chest? Aha, it is a chest. Okay. There we go. Cool. So we're next to the big tower. That, I think this is a church. I'm not sure. I can't remember, I can't remember if you can actually go in it or not. You cannot. Oh well. But yeah, this is uh, it's pretty cool. Um, I, I do love the mods which add sort of a, a bit of a exploring, you know. It, it's fun. And I think this mod definitely does a good job of it. You can uh, definitely do a lot of exploring, especially once you go to the uh, the new world down south, which we will eventually go to, of course. Um, hopefully sooner than later, because that will be better for us anyway. But um, we'll, talk about, we'll talk about that later on. For now, I'm just going to sort of just look around, see if we can find some chests. Um, to be honest, I can't remember where half of them are. I thought more were around here, but um, anyway, so yeah, we've actually been here already. Oh well, but um, yeah, I, I'm not sure there's actually a way you, you can get into this tower. I always thought there was like a sort of like a parkour course you could, that you can do, but um, I don't know. I don't think so, but it would be cool. I would, I would love a mod which adds like a parkour course, which, yeah, which involves lots of jumping and stuff, you know, to get to like a secret room to a secret chest, you know, so yeah, any modders watching, I doubt it, but, you know, make it happen, <laughs> make it happen, I want a parkour course. Oh, just found another chest. Oh, we got some war darts. Ah, cool, I can't use them. Maybe a companion can use them. We got a few coins, so that's not, not too bad. So I think I'm just about coming to an end. I haven't really explored much in the middle much, but I don't know. Like I thought I knew where a bunch of chests were, but either it's changed or it's just my memory just not being very good because it has been a while. Was that a chest? I think, oh wait, I think that's a chest. I think, yeah. There could be more. There probably is more. There's probably like lots more, but I think that'll do it for now. There's some salt and a pile of coins. Not bad. Not, not bad. I think that that'll do it for now. Let's see if we can sell a bunch of these stuff, see how much we can get. I'm not sure if you can make a much of a profit if you sell them at certain places, but... Well, sell the, stone, sell the stones. How much this place got? They got 21 grand, so they could probably afford just about everything we put in here. Um, I don't, I'm not a fan of darts, so sell the darts. There we go, sell the pottery. Sweet, so we're actually making a fair bit of money, so... Not bad, not bad. Cool, I'm, I'm going to try and get that to a companion. Frentes looks like a man who can uh, handle a sword, so I think we'll give him my sword, which I made. Uh, it's quite sad seeing it go, but I'm going to use the sword of Harlos the second. So, very nice. And, I got, and that's, that's a pretty good sword. I'll see if... Uh, let's see if... I can't even remember if they've got good swords or not. Let's see. We've got uh, 26. Oh, that's a bit, bit, bit better. There we go. Well, it's got less of a thrust, but 
Who thrusts these days, hey? Who thrusts? I don't know. Okay, so I actually ran into some Cathars. I thought I was going to escape them, but then some some came from the other direction, and now we're going to take them out. So we're actually versing 33. This is going to be difficult. Very difficult, but let's see what we can do. Let's see what we can do. Now I could use some uh, of these, but I might. I can't even remember what to one to use. Let's try number nine. I don't know. I I haven't actually had a good a good look at them. So anyway, oh my god, out my face. Not the time to look at them. Let's be honest. All right. Let's charge the cavalry. Okay, here we go. So far, so good. We really need to get our crosswomen just fighting off and shooting them, shoot them from a distance because they don't have shields, so that's like a one advantage we have right now. So I can try and lure them away. See what we can do. Alright, so the crosswomen are going crazy now. That's what we like to see. Cavalry, follow me. Alright. Hopefully our crosswomen can take a bunch out. Let's see what let's see how, how well we can do. Come on, crosswomen. The time to hit them is now. Okay, I'm just going to charge everyone. Probably the best we can do with our crossbowmen. Alright. Pretty good. Pretty good. Not bad. Now, I am aware I need to be using my combat skills, and to be honest, I have not paid any attention to them. I have I used to use them quite a bit back in the day. I've completely forgot how they work. We got a balanced greatsword. That's not bad. That is not bad. I actually really want to use that. So maybe maybe I will. Maybe I will. But yeah, that was pretty good. Pretty good. We uh, only lost three men altogether, I think. And we got some decent upgrades. Lost some good troops. Yeah, we, we lost some of our, our best troops. But you know what? These things will happen. I'm going to get some more men at arms. I think we lost a bunch of our cavalry. I, was been a, I wasn't really paying full attention to my cavalry. But uh, anyway, we're a knight, I think. Or a sergeant. Almost a knight. That's cool. Sweet. Well, there we go. Not bad. Some good some good experience for the troops. And I got a pretty good sword out of it. So, not mad. Not mad. Alright, so I just harvested my farm. I've still got two more to go. I'm actually running out of inventory space. So, I might try and get one more up in the skill. Inventory management. It's currently three. That's pretty good. I'm um, going to try and maybe get it higher. Because I just do not have enough room for this. Including the chest I've got inside my little place there. Anyway, I'm going to sell a bunch of this stuff now. And I'm probably going to just go harvest more in the background. Just uh, wrapping up this episode. Been going pretty well. They sell for a fair bit. As you see, they, they get lower and lower as they go up. So, I'm not sure if it, it helps. If you, no, it doesn't. I thought if you sell them in different places. But, um... I, I, I'm... Really don't mind at the moment. Like it's, it obviously I could make a lot more if I go travelling and still looking at different places. But oh wow, that's actually that's getting really cheap. <laughs> okay, well I might actually might keep some of that then. Um, harvest the next bunch and go to maybe Zenda. Yeah, actually now I think of it, Zenda is actually really really close, and I could have made a couple more hundred. So, you know what? I am actually going to probably do that. Um, let me just fill up my chest. So as you can see, there we go. I'm just going to fill all that in. Actually, I might put my sword and stuff in there as well. I decided I'm not going to use the two-handed sword just yet. But, um, since I kind of like the sword I've already got. Anyway, let's go um, let's start harvesting. Let's talk to the bench. Let's start harvesting field two. Which should be the one just to our left, I believe. I think it's this one. I hope. Let's find out. There we go. Cool. So we go. I'm uh, just going to harvest all these. I'm going to send them to Zendar. And then hopefully uh, make some good money. I'll be honest, this is actually probably the worst field to do. I cannot get past. So when you when you hit them, 
Uh, they're still there, but it becomes invisible, so it looks like he passed it. I cannot get past for the life. My life depended on it. Oh, God fucking damn it. This field is so hard. That one over there is not too bad. It's a bit more spread out, but this one is just... There's like a wall you can't get past. Oh, that worked. Cool. Oh, but this is just... Oh, my God. This is awful. You know what? I'm actually going to find... I'm pro After this, <laughs> I'm probably going to stop doing this because this is just like... I cannot keep doing this. Yeah, this is yeah. This field is not okay. I'm actually stuck. Oh wait! Oh oh! Oh for fuck! Okay, with uh, much frustration, I've given up on that field. And if you press leave, um, it disappears. It, like it was. Wait, it's not even this one, is it? No, that one's still growing. Must be this one. This one looks like a. F oh my god! Okay, how do you even get in? Let's see. This one looks painful. Hopefully, this is, uh, this is the right one. Cool. Um. Yeah, this is, <laughs> this is, uh, painful. <laughs> oh, God, oh, here we go. That's not too bad. Oh, no, I, oh, I spoke too soon. Oh, God damn it. If anyone's got any tips on how to do this better, you know, that would be great. Okay, get past you, oh, for fuck's sake. They, they, oh, my God, this is awful. Yeah, I never really want to do that ever again. That was just painful. Painful is probably the best way to put it as. And yeah, so I think I might just stick to field one because that one's pretty easy to navigate around. Um, but yeah, other ones are just not fun. <laughs> not fun at all. But uh, there we go. We got a fair bit of money now. So I guess we could uh, start thinking about moving on to bigger and better things. There is cur currently a crusade on which I could join, but I'm not sure if it'd be worth doing. It could be a bit of fun, but you know what? I'm going to leave it up to you guys to decide what I should do. Now, I think I've got enough food, that should be enough. I, I can always get more from the farm. But, um, there we go. Guys, thanks for watching this episode. I hope you enjoyed it. I'm sorry there hasn't been many episodes this week. Um, but yeah, I'm going to try my best to get more out. And yeah, so guys, thanks for the support, and I'll see you next time. Ta-ta for now.